हेलो नमस्ते गाइस सो आई एम बैक विथ अनदर वीडियो रिलेटेड टू द यू सी आई एम आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम ऑल्सो गुड थैंक यू गाइस सो विल स्टार्ट विद द टूडेज वीडियो विच इज हाउ वी हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट एंटिटी फील्स इन दू सी आई एम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डायनेमिक सी आर एम सो फॉर दैट एज यू इन द यू सी आई द नेविगेशन इज चेंज अवेट so to go to the to create the entity or the uh, other components of the CRM you have to log in into your CRM first and then you have to go to your setting you need to open advanced setting and to open the advanced setting you can open it but if you want to create the entity another component then you should have one of the two roles system administrator or system customization customization so if suppose i am logging with this rachna user then i should have those two roles in order to create the um, both the components so if you go here you will see the the settings right so if we have customization solution all these components are there i cannot cover all those components this is so today's tutorial like to how we can create the entity so i'll go to on that so let's if you don't if suppose if you don't have that role then you will not able to see this part so open the customizes customize the system and uh, if you want to create your own solution and inside it you want to create the component then you can go here and go to this solution and then you can create so for this video i am going to is the default solution that we get whenever we install a crm so to create uh, this entity if we have to go the entities and see we have so many component guys if you want like or you all other videos related to like all the functionality and all the thing that we should learn in the uh, use here just comment me below i will uh, make the video on all those topic and please if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please do like share the my channel and subscribe to my channel it feels so good <laughs> okay so i am going to create a new entity to create new entity you i'll click here so i will keep the name as a demo all right i think my net is bit slow so it's loading slowly and this co bid 19 situation is really getting worse day by day i hope you guys are doing good you can learn new new things right if you want to learn like this is the best time that we can utilize to improve our skills so demo okay demo entity i am going to create its create see this is the you know prefix that automatically comes okay and that's it i have given this is the area where my entity should be visible so i am giving sales services so this sales and services entity is visible in those areas and there is one place that auditing so if you enable the auditing the auditing will be enabled for the entity and auditing means like the track will be started for your entity whenever you are creating recording uh, like whenever updating the entity or creating in the record then it will get started so let's that's it pura name cannot be blank i'm sorry i missed this so demo same i'll keep no issue and it's created that's it and i so you can see on the left side uh, when in the entity we in the it contains forms views chart fields key forms means like you can create a multiple forms for your entity based on your requirement and views you can create from your uh, here you will get some out of the box but if you want to create a new custom views you can create from here and then we have uh, 
skis skis is very very important as a new feature of the uh, crm so key is where like uh, so we have geoid right to identify the uh, so we have geoid to identify the each record in the crm so apart from the uh, apart from the geoid if you want like to record to be identified uniquely then you can create the combination of one or two fields to identify your record uh, uniquely you know so this is mainly used when when we create um, you know uh, integrations and the integration side uh, the because you it, you the third person will not have the guid of a system it will be new system they only know the data so how they will identify your record whether they are sending the new request or the new record or existing upper record they don't want to update it so for that the microsoft introduced a new concept that's called key so you can it creates by the multiple combinations of fields you can identify like primary key we have right so like that so it's a good feature of the microsoft so my entity got created and another thing on the ownership side so that is a very asked question on the interview one question interview question i have covered this keys it's very you know so many times asked question of the interview and then ownership so for this entity um, entity ownership we have two type of ownership user or team or the organization level so organization level it means that, that there will be no owner for this entity and user or team this means like i the owner who has created the who is the person and we can assign this record to the other team other users so we ownership based on the ownership we can identify the uh, you know entity and then we have fields so to create a field you can just go to here suppose on the I don't know why my nets is so slow okay so on the field if i want to create a new field so on the on the field side we have one more interview question over here what is field security profile so field security profile is like uh suppose uh you know uh, e there is multiple fields on the form and if you want to display uh this um, field should be visible to my manager only not to all the members of the team then you can enable the field security profile over here and you can create the field security profile for that okay so i will give the demo field okay so you can give here so that's it and if you enable the and you can enable the auditing it means auditing will start for this field so whenever you will update it will record the data so and, and that's it and this is the type here yeah. so we have multiple uh, field type option set multiple options so i will give you one line of description single line you can just uh, show one line of text option set you will get a multiple option to choose kind of pick list and multi option set you mean you are that same one and the one field you can select a multiple option two option set me only yes or no boolean kind of field and then we have image whole number floating point number you already know decimal number you know currency you want to store currency multiple line of text in the single you can give in single field you can give the multiple lines for that field date and time lookup means like you can give the lookup of another entity and customer and the file so yep yeah, i am giving the single line of text as of now so like that you can create the field guys if you are liking my videos please do subscribe to my channel if you like <laughs> okay so save and close i'll do that and yeah i'll go to the form i will paste that field on the form all right So this is the by default form that we get. So I'll open this information form. This is the main form of the entity that gets open when you when you are opening the uh, record of the um, entity. If you have the access, there are a big thing about the access rules and security rules that I know I cannot cover in this video, but I will keep I will keep in mind. I will make a new video on it. Just comment me below if you want any specific video to be created 
yep so you can see here demo field came i will paste here good now i can see this field that's it it's very easy you know customization side and it's good product of microsoft you know to handle a big first i have worked on so many projects and we handle a good requirement with this customization side only so yeah let me do one thing okay we are good now we yeah you have to save the things if the save if save is not there then if you publish the thing then only save things will get published so before publish do save your changes then publish publish means you can see in if you do the advanced find now for your uh, you know for the And you will be able to see the new entity got created. Guys, what you are doing on this quarantine time? Just let me know in the comment section below if you are doing something interesting. So I can also try that yeah it's opening so if you will now we will search that field that entity that we have created in the advanced find so guys that that's called advanced find when i click in here you will see all those entities related to your organization come on come on yep so if i search here demo Did I give this name? Okay, maybe let me publish it again. Alright, so where is this? Okay, I'll do publish all customization. Yeah, so after the publishing, you will be able to see that in your advanced find. So you can try that and let do let me know if you find any difficulty on it. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much. Thanks for your support. Please do like share this video and subscribe to my channel thanks bye